ago uh, at Elex uh, in 2015 in the UK with the help of two bottles of wine that Milos brought along and some of the good people who are here as well. One of them, Anne, is not. Uh, basically, we've had a preparatory committee. The idea was to, that there is so much in common uh, in that we could share and collaborate, etc. Um, and uh, basically that we can go again, uh, ahead and to organize events together, um, have a, re a central repository for publications, promote research and development, and facilitate the transfer of uh, professional know-how. Um, so um, after the preparatory committee, last year a management committee was uh, set with a representative of each of the continental associations with uh, uh, Simon as a representative of Elexis uh, in cooperation with Globalex. Uh, we have had three workshops so far, two at ELREC, uh, and one a few months ago at the DSNA uh, on the topic of uh, lexicography and neologism. Uh, the publication of the papers is due next year in the Journal of the DSNA Dictionaries. Uh, they are being peer-reviewed. So far, one has been accepted, I can tell you. Uh, next year, we plan to have three workshops, again at ELREC on the topic of uh, link lexicography, we have John and Jorge who are going to lead uh, two main channels there and there will be announcements on that. We first of all need to submit a request to ELREC officially, but we have been very popular in ELREC, ELREC so uh, it's uh, quite reasonable it will be accepted. AFRILEX is going to have a global X workshop on the topic of learner's dictionaries and uh, following the one on lexicography and neologism, which was quite successful at the DSNA. A follow-up is planned at Euralex next year, um, and hopefully it will be something that we can continue because uh, a few months ago we had it just on uh, a few languages, and it's something that we would like uh, to see on other languages as well. Um, so uh, what we have uh, also done is we have put a publication online that is Lexicon. It's published by the Iwasaki Linguistic Circle in Tokyo. It uh, focuses on English Learner's Dictionary and it has been in print uh, so far. So now it's available on the GlobalX website which is uh, uh, gaining shape and I'd like to thank especially Thea. Is she here? Uh, she has not been feeling well here, uh, so Thea has been doing a lot of work on, on, uh, uh, on the GlobalX workshop. Uh, there are some um, attempts, um, uh, the infatigable Gilles Maurice has been trying to get some people together for a Latin American association, and we've been speaking with um, uh, someone from Brazil, so also on this opportunity, all of you here, from uh, South and Central America. Um, if you'd be interested, please get in touch. There are some people involved, and this is something which uh, we think could be useful. Uh, finally, uh, I'd like to thank the support of Elexis, who is actually uh, uh, running the um, uh, website uh, for us, and uh, who will be helping with the Elexify uh, tool uh, with a publication repository. Uh, we need to work out things so that we don't duplicate uh, each other on that. Muito obrigado. for something completely different. Uh, so, um, I'll just revisit um, 
the conference topic a bit, uh, and well, you'll see where this is going. So basically, the topic was smart lexicography, and I took some of these um, keywords from our <coughs> description um, of what the topic was about. And uh, <coughs> one thing I, we never did before coming up with this was uh, looking, actually looking up what smart, where the origins are. It's quite interesting that it starts with the pain. So <coughs> originally smart mean, meant something such as a pain, so I hope that, that this meaning didn't transpire into the conference. Uh, <coughs> but um, the smart part that we did here was in another context. And it, uh, I got smarter with every day, and uh, I got older as well. Uh, <laughs> and one of the things that uh, um, the birthday boy can do is learn about cakes. Uh, now, I don't know how many still remember what this means. How many? Hands up. Okay, for the others, it means rich. <laughs> and it's interesting that if you start thinking about it, I mean, it's connected to money in a maths context, but in, in this context here, this is a rich conference. If you look at, I mean, I did a quick overview. It's rich in knowledge. So knowledge sharing on all types of presentations. So there's a lot of knowledge here, and it's being shared, presented, being exchanged. So we are definitely caked up at this conference. <laughs> and there's actually much more than the side of the, the ELEX um, community. There is a bit more... Uh, let's say relaxed, so the socialized, socialized caked up um, uh, community. And then, uh, well, this is a bit, uh, haunt, I hope I won't embarrass a few people, that's why I added myself. It's a bit uh, uh, more relaxed even. So <laughs> those of you who weren't at the uh, dinner yesterday. But um, that's what ELEX is about. You know, when we talk about smart, APIs, everything. We need to mention it's smart people actually <laughs> that are here, um, and um, that is that is part of the smart meaning I want you to take away from this conference. Um, and uh, I took a liberty of being a, a birthday boy, so uh, I. Um, so this is the inspiration from Matt's talk, and I hope I, I, I didn't do it poorly. Um, but um, so this is my song to 2011 and to, to till 2021. So hey, be smart. Our project has to kickstart. Show me your flip chart. Warm up my heart so we can create art. I'll be sad that we'll be apart. But we'll meet again in 2021 and make a restart. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much, Stock. It was great. Yeah, he really represented us. I'm quite sure you all feel the same. Not with that good rhythm, though. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to say a few words as a, the very last bit of our conference. And um, I would like, of course, to start by thanking our organizing committee. Um, Isto Kozem, Jelena Kalas, Simon Kreg, Karo Tiberius, Milus Jakubicek, Andrei Matushka, Teja Goli, and the local organizing committee, José Pedro Ferreira, myself, Isabel Pereira, Margarita Correa, and Martin Janssen. Martin unfortunately couldn't be here, but he was extremely helpful. I would also like to thank, once again, 
the sponsors, right? I mean, we couldn't be here if it weren't for them. Uh, we couldn't have video lectures without Hornby, so we are deeply thankful to Hornby Educational Trust, as well as uh, to Oxford Dictionaries and Porto Editora and Dictionary.com. I would also like to thank Agência Abreu, Maria Cardoso and Nuno Pinto. You probably met them. They were at this registration desk helping us. Um, also the hotel, Villa Gale Sintra. Marduguin's restaurant yesterday for those of you uh, at Gala Dina. Once again, video lectures. And also Infrasom for taking care of our equipment. And um, just a few things, very quickly. Did you all leave your corkscrews at the registration desk? <laughs> okay, if you haven't yet, you still have a few minutes. Second thing, certificates. Okay, if you need printed ones, please come talk to me before we leave. Otherwise, it will be digital if you have said so. Another thing is, you do know that uh, it, this is a tradition already in ELEX conferences. We finish before lunch, so lunch is usually not included, okay? So, but we managed to uh, arrange this year to have a special prize for people who would like to stay at the hotel and uh, have lunch here, which is a set menu with two main dishes, drinks, desserts, coffee, salads for 16 euros. So if you feel like staying a little bit longer to have food, here, please do it. Another thing is about next ELEX. Okay, so you might be wondering, where is it going to be? Brno, Czech Republic. Okay, so be ready to be there in 2021. Um, and uh, on this note, I don't just want to call your attention to something I don't know if all of you know, maybe the ones new to ELEX don't know. But ELEX, the first, very first ELEX was exactly 10 years ago, in 2009. And actually, it was a, a, a one-off event, right? It was in levin la Neuve, and... Uh, it was, uh, the topic was new challenges, new applications. But it was so successful that academics and lexicographers wanted to continue having this opportunity and this nice space, yes, just like uh, um, Istok showed. Knowledge sharing and uh, discussions and you know, learning. So, in 2011, there was a second edition in Bled, in Slovenia. Okay? And then, uh, this is his talk in the beginning. You can, you can see video lectures, okay? We were there already, yeah? And uh, this is the opening ceremony, and, uh, and his talk is um, introducing and explaining the reason why there was the second edition. And then this is his talk in the end, the closing ceremony. And look at the question, isn't it nice? We were wondering back then, Will there still be dictionaries in 2020? That's next year, all right? <laughs> oh my. And he was asking us, uh, us because I was there and I'm quite sure that lots of you were there as well. He was like, okay, what do you think? Is it worth it? Should we continue? And everyone very excited. Yeah, nerds. So um, the following year, 2013, we went to Tallinn in Estonia, okay? And then we have his talk over there, <laughs> talking about his projects. He's always doing things. He's like a genius. And then we go to 2015, Hersman So Castle. Lots of you were there as well, I know. And so was this talk. Okay. And his, he has fun as well, okay? He's not only working. And then in 2017, we go to Leiden. And there we are. And... There is a talk. <laughs> so we are now this year, 10 years later, uh, in Sintra. And here he is. And on that note, I would say that if it wasn't for his talk, we wouldn't have ELEX. So thank you, his talk, for ELEX conference series.
when, when there are three people. <clears throat> Sorry. If you know he's talking, I know all of you do know, this is the best present he could ever get. Now, Sweet. Now you're literally caked up. <laughs> okay, so when there are three people and two of them want to surprise each other, you never know how it ends up in which order this will happen. But, um, you know, every conference needs some, something like a driving spirit. And without any doubt, this is a stock for Elex. To continue with the surprises, we need to thank also Tanara. Uh, <laughs> for, you know, organizing such a great event um, in such a, you know, perfect way. We all know, well, a lot of us at least know in this room what it takes. Um, we know what will happen when you now go home. We will not be talking to anybody for a few days. Um, you deserve it. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you. Do you see that we are all having surprises and no one knows. Now the surprise is to someone new. <laughs> it's to Milos. Yeah. Now. <laughs> the, there is a reason for that, because um, <clears throat> the local transport was needed here, and many of you in this room were benefited from uh, Milos's uh, kindness, I will say, from, uh, so, Remind me how many trips in Six. one day? Six trips in one day from morning to the afternoon. Some, some of you even survived. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Milos. Thank you very much. Sure. So thank you very much, people. See you in 2021 in Brno.